the anger Assalamu alaikum. Muhammad Qasim said, I saw a dream on November 30th, 2015. I was going somewhere, running, and I asked myself that where am I going? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam used to walk in light, and from wherever he would walk, Allah would also fill that place with light by His mercy. And then there is me, who even after being an ummati of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam can't find the way. Then I make a supplication to Allah to make me walk on the path of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam so that I might become successful. Then I go a bit far and see a building. I go into that building. I saw a female in the kitchen who was preparing food and bread. I asked that person for something to eat, but she didn't listen to me. I called her many times, but neither did she look at me nor listen. Then she closed the kitchen door. Then I go forward and see stairs ascending upwards. I started to climb them. After climbing a few stairs, I stopped and said to myself that Gossim, this happened exactly like you saw in a dream, where I was going somewhere, and I was lost. Then I saw a female, and she did not listen to me. Then I went forward, and there, I get close to Allah. I said when I go forward, then I will surely find Allah. Then I move forward after climbing a few stairs. There was a huge hall there. There were Muslims there, as well as their leaders. When I go near them, then Allah says in my right ear that Qasim, narrate the dreams which I have shown you. So I stopped and told them that Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam keep coming into my dreams. And Allah has promised me that He will help me, and that He will take us out of darkness. And Allah has shown me the straight path from the dreams. Upon hearing this, they started to laugh. They said, are you mad? Who has spoken to Allah in dreams? But a few people did believe me. I said, why not? Allah is able to do all things. And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam told me in dreams that Qasim, whoever supports you is just like a person who supported me. But they made fun of me again. I said, you make fun of me merely because Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam keep coming into my dreams? Their leader said, yes, this is why. And you are lying. I said to myself silently that this ummah keeps making supplications to Allah to help them and take them out of darkness. But when Allah sends someone, then they ridicule him. I began to leave, to move forward. And those people who believed me also started to walk with me. The ones who were behind tried to stop them and told them it's a sin, but they didn't listen to them. And those people came behind me. I said to my companions that if these people don't believe, then Allah will shake them heavily. And just with that came a strong earthquake and everyone got scared. I felt as if this building will collapse. I said that if the building collapses, then the roof will tear open and Allah will take out me and the ones with me. Then the earthquake suddenly stopped. Most of the people who were with leaders became scared and ran away. The leaders and their few companions started to ridicule me again. I said to them that Allah has sent such a terrifying earthquake and still you do not understand and you will never understand. And Allah showed up on His throne in anger. He came near and said with great anger that you just keep on ridiculing Qasim. Your hands break and you get ruined. Upon hearing the angry voice of Allah, I woke up. Jazakallahu khairan kathir. Wassalamu alaikum.